nature starts some fires all by itself. Lightning is the most common naturally occurring cause of fire. If the forest or building that it comes in contact with is dry, lightning's high heat may start a fire. Sometimes materials undergo a chemical reaction called spontaneous combustion, where a fire starts without the help of lightning or any other outside source of heat. If the conditions are just right, haystacks, compost piles and piles of leaves and wood chips may start to rot. The decomposition can sometimes create enough heat to cause spontaneous combustion. However, people cannot spontaneously combust. That's just a myth. We are limited in our control of nature, but nature is also rather limited in the ways it can start fires. On the other hand, humans are completely able to control whether we start a fire. And yet every year, hundreds of thousands of fires caused by careless or malicious humans kill people and animals and destroy property. Children may play with matches and set fire to their hair, clothing or surroundings. People may light indoor or outdoor candles and leave them unattended. Adults aren't always vigilant when working with farm equipment or vehicles near dry grass. Smokers don't always make sure their cigarettes are completely out before they toss them. People don't always use good sense with their campfires, burn barrels and patio fireplaces. Sparks and embers can easily fly out of these fires and into nearby combustible material, such as dry trees, dry grass, or a dry rooftop. Some landowners actually choose to burn their fields on windy days in order to get the job done faster. The burn will go faster all right, but it may take their home and all their neighbors' homes along with it. People can start fires without even using fire. A bunch of cotton or linen rags soaked in vegetable oil, such as linseed oil, can start to decompose or rot, just like a haystack or compost pile. Decomposition causes a small amount of heat. If the rotting rags are in a barrel or box where the heat can't escape, they may become hot enough to combust. And finally, some people light fires to intentionally hurt or kill others or cause property damage. This is called arson. In all 50 states, arson can result in a huge fine and a very long prison sentence. Nature sets a few fires without any help from humans, but most of the time it's people who either start a fire directly or create an environment where a naturally started fire can grow out of hand.